We return to the adventures of the brawny genius, Me T Yi, and I have some terrible news about She T Yi. She's she's dead. Oh my god, her name was She T. She's dead. And now it forced me to decide whether to make the funeral a big and special event or keep it a small and private one. She was one of our last extended family members, so I believe now the only members of the T Yi dynasty are I mean our generation, right? The, the character we're playing as right now, and then his two sisters and his brother. Uh, four living members. Yeah, okay then. That's really fucked. Excellent. A small private funeral will suffice because we definitely can't afford it. We've got minus 83 prestige, 46 piety, 26 gold. But, but my friends, we are a genius. We're genius. We're brawny. I think this character could end up being pretty good, I think. I mean, he's got 8 martial at the age of 3, which I think is, is the highest out of any character we've played so far. So you know what? We're going to roll with it. We're going to embrace what destiny has thrown at us, despite the fact that I am pissed off that we're playing our, what, fourth character over the course of 23 years. A little bit ridiculous, but that's okay. All right, then. Um, We are looking for Minister of the Treasury. It's silly, the feeble. That's our, that's our mother, right? She's fine, then. Let's get you collecting taxes. Let's start, once again, I'm getting weird deja vu here, fabricating claims on our neighboring duchy so that hopefully, eventually, we can not become the shitty little counts of... Of wherever the hell we are now. Bow me. You guys might remember yesterday. The reason that um, we didn't get a whole lot done. Was because the game was running like uh, me up the stairs. So what I've done is I, I added an event that basically genocided the Carthian people. You might remember for some reason, and between a, about half a dozen of us on Discord, we weren't able to track down what this bug was caused by, um, trying to recreate the mod pack, trying to redo the same steps. But basically, for whatever reason, the courtiers in Carth bred like rabbits. Um, and then one guy, I think it was this guy, had 2,000, 3,000 courtiers, something along those lines. So I made an event that just... Kill them all fucking dead. And I think that seems to have done the job. Because you can see it's running a little bit better. A group of wandering warrior monks have come to visit the province. They are staging impressive shows of acrobatic and arm fighting techniques in the villages. Those guys are fast as lightning. Or they better not teach those things to my peasants. 50% chance of becoming paranoid. To be honest, if I was this kid, uh, this, this three-year-old boy who's been the, the fourth successor to this title in the course of about 20 years, I think I'd become fucking paranoid. Honestly, let's roll with it. Let's roll with it. Just from a purely... I, I'm breaking the rules here. I'm not doing the role playing. We're going purely from the meta perspective of... I'm not sure how many more characters I can handle before I go insane in real life. So you know what? Give me Paranoid. You piece of shit. Well, it's running okay now. It, it has its moments where it's a bit buggy. But obviously, uh, you can see that it's a lot better than yesterday. Now that we haven't got 2,000 characters in each court in Carth. Seems to be running a little better. So that means we can actually get shit done today. Which hopefully means becoming a duke. Not like I've been <laughs> trying to do that all week. Open counts positions. Right, what have we got? And let's set up a cartographer here. One thing I also did as well is limited what the AI could do with some of the extended buildings. So we've got the, uh, we do have the extended buildings model, the special buildings model, I think it's actually called. Oh, that's really nice. Thank you. Which are oh, right on cue. Money followed by a claim. Don't mind if I do. So what's that? Fusion. So we need to move him up to, uh, excuse me. Uh, okay, fine. We'll just give him, we'll give him a minute. Um, is there anyone better? Oh, Jot will make a good general. But we've already, actually, we've got some good, we've got some really good chancellors. I suppose this comes from many generations of inheriting them, right? But we'll get a claim on this one next, and I'm going to push these claims basically as soon as we possibly can, just so that we don't risk losing them again, because that sucks when we spend so many years, so much money, when we're not making any goddamn money, really, anyway, on all these claims and, and getting nothing out of it. Lords of Jin have approved the institution of the Absolute Ruler. Well, that's horrifying, because that's our leech. Um, never mind, doesn't really matter too much. We might be able to make our own kingdom-level title with the Five Forts if we get... If we get lucky enough. Right now we're in the middle of a... Yeetish Tairoshi embargo war. With... Oh, wow. It's like a, a like a, an entire pan-continental embargo. So it's Yeeti, uh, a couple of his vassals. Because he's an empire-level title. His vassals have to basically ask to join. And then uh, try out Dagar of Volantis versus the Money Pincher of Tyrosh. Very weird. Okay, what is that? Difficult pregnancy. Yeah, I'm not fucking surprised, huh? 52... Uh, maybe, maybe she just never lost that trait. Severe illness. Yeah, okay. Maybe it's just stuck. Well, I don't know whether that's a mechanic, whether or not she can be permanently affected by that. Possible, I guess. I'm just, I just want to keep a close eye on Carth and make sure that those rabbits don't keep multiplying. It's up to 35. That could just be natural gameplay. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I just need to stop being so paranoid. Here's your nurse has found a young animal. Right, uh, give me that. Oh, man. Songbird gives plus two diplomacy, though. And that's potentially... You'd assume that a songbird would live longer than a puppy or a kitty, but 
I think that's maybe a little bit too complicated for just Game of Thrones to worry about. Uh, I mean, the cat would be kind of nice because then we're less likely to die. We go for the puppy really, really max out Marshall. Age of four with nine Marshall is quite nice. Or we go for the songbird. Then we have nine diplomacy at the age of four as well. Might stop people killing us so quickly. Um, actually, I'm not sure. Uh, I'd kind of be tempted to go for the diplomacy just to round out our character. I mean, 98755 five in stats is obviously incredible. Go 20 personal combat at the age of four is absolutely fantastic. We can't join any societies. I'm thinking maybe because we're genius, we could bypass some of the requirements. Apparently, the uh, the masters don't want a four-year-old kid around. Who'd have thought? Uh, everything else, though, I think we've pretty much just got to sit on our ass and wait for this kid to grow now, which is fine. Oh, it's into the slave trade. Man, I completely forgot about that. Okay, it's like 20th to 6th moon every year. It just goes really slowly. So the AI is, like, en masse checking a decision whether they can do, I think. I don't know. It doesn't matter too much. Anyway, let's... Excuse me. So I'd really like to enter the slave trade now. So that allows us to obviously buy and sell people, uh, try and turn a profit, things like that. It might actually cover a little bit of these many, many claim costs we've got going on right now. Let's absolutely get involved there. Thank you very much, Auto Save. Very cool. Nice. Oh, enter, leave, enter, leave. Perfect. You used to be able to, from what I remember, metagame the slavery aspect so that you could... Um, I mean, more or less, essentially invite characters with genius, attractive used to work quite well, a strong used to work quite well as well. Get them to your court, spy on them using the uh, using the intrigue focus, and then basically accuse them of doing something wrong, chuck them in prison, sell them off. Because they've got that congenital trait, they're worth more as a slave. But if you want to do that, uh, that's, I mean, it's a little fucked up, but it would bring in a little extra money when we are currently completely fucking bankrupt entirely. What about that loan that we took out? Take out a loan from a vassal. I guess it was cancelled when we died? Which is fair, I think. It would be kind of uh, cruel of them to go after a four-year-old kid for their dad's debts. And of course, the big part of the slavery system is buying the slave camps. And those are super, super powerful. So if we go to our capital here. Uh, yeah, so you can see the slave camp. Next level of that gives tax income. Oh my god, have they changed it? They might have adjusted it. So it used to give build time and build cost modifiers. And it used to be horribly horribly overpowered like the huge slave camp like they used to give minus 50 percent build time and minus 50 percent build cost looks as if they've adjusted it somewhat so it reduces garrison side give you a gives you a thousand light infantry obviously removes half the morale because they're they're slaves not soldiers there it's the price you pay and then plus two tax income oh they actually might have really massively nerfed it huh all right, maybe, maybe never mind so much about the whole slave set. We'll still give it a go at some stage. I don't think... Oh, right, trader, trader, I was going to say. We'll give it a go. We'll see if it works, but might not be necessary. So as with our... Okay, so our trade master, I completely forgot about this. You, my friend, let's get you... Focus on profit. Let's get him to focus on bringing coin into the round rather than building up the round because we might just end up moving our capital in a week anyway. Um... We'll give him... Do we want to give him 100 gold keystar things now? We still wouldn't need to get that final claim. So let's move our guy over now that he's ready. Start getting claims on that. And I'd like to start getting claims on all of this stuff within the Kingdom of the Five Ports. Because that we can definitely form as well. God, this is a hard choice. Okay, so we've got the choice of... Haughty. Guaranteed. Or 33% chance of affectionate brooding or timid. Brooding is good. Oh, well, to some extent, it's good. Just Wrath, Selfish, or Envious. So, obviously, a chance of just is pretty good. Wrath would give us a martial bonus, so it wouldn't be terrible. We've got Timid, Humble, Shy, or Craven. Obviously, quite bad. Or Affectionate, Kind, Content, Trusting, or Family Person. Haughty, though, is Proud, Arbitrary, Cruel, or Ruthless. The only good outcome to basically guarantee a shitty outcome from Haughty. Well, I mean, Proud isn't bad, but the rest kind of are. Or, we go for Brooding. We, we go for the chance of brooding, but there's also equally a chance that... I, I, I would say that both affectionate and timid are worse than haughty, if that makes sense. Oh, affection becomes gregarious, right? Oh, no, that's, that absolutely does not. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a hard choice, because these two are worse than haughty, but there is a chance of getting brooding. I think I might just go for haughty and hope we get proud. Oh, we've got to pick a new educator as well, because, of course, our last one died. You know what? That would help out somewhat. Right. Let's see who is worthy of training the future of this great nation. Um, a, a patient genius. Absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. She's hopefully going to give a really good outcome there. She's also patient, which might cause us some issues because Haughty becomes... Oh, it's, it's proud. Right, it's proud. she proud? Oh, my God. She's cruel. All right. We'll wait and see how this plays out. This could, this could be a real problem. Why does this game hate me so much? Why why do you do this, Game of Thrones mod? Oh my god, it's everywhere. Oh god, it's... Oh my god! Well, it might kill us some of those fucking Carth... Carth... Carths? Carthines? 
These are dark days. My sister, T-E-D, has been beset by strange grey rashes and episodes of delirium. She's dead. Grey plague is minus seven health. This is like the, the actual real plague. Um, call for a court physician for what it's worth. She's already got bed. She's bedridden. Bedridden with the grey plague. She is. Yep. Dead as dicks. Okay. And then there were three. I no. 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 Me. Me, save me. The liquid in the chalice was warm and sour. Would chase the heat away, me explained. Me. You've got... Please. I think we're gonna... I mean, check the, check the, check the dynasty. Check the dynasty. Three living fucking members. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's not even us anymore, is it? Because we're not a descendant, so the family tree is all a complete mess. Okay. This could be a problem. Um, We can shut the gates. Sure. I mean, it's a bit late now. That just came out of fucking nowhere, my god. Alright, well, there we go. When did it start? Can we see when it started? Um, Great Plague started in Jin. Uh, on the 1st of Ninth Moon. 24 days ago in the province next to ours. Holy shit, that sucks. Holy shit, that sucks. We could be really, really screwed. What about the other two? The other two look fine. Unsurprisingly, we have the Great Plague. Unsurprisingly, our other sister's dead as well. Oh, from the fucking grey plague. Oh, what a shocker. What a shocker. Um, a small private funeral will suffice. May you live in harmony contentment. We've been... Oh, my God. Come on. Live. Live me to ye. If you, if you do this, this will be the most glorious redemption out. Did we get good treatment? Uh, we did. Successful treatment. Okay, thank you. Uh, so we're on minus five health, but we got brawny. We got Brawny, so we might be okay here. It's going to be very, very close. Game paranoid. I would be absolutely paranoid as well. My mother, silly, also got the Grey Plague there. Fine. Uh, call for a court physician at once, whatever the hell it's worth. How are we looking? Plus two. Okay, so she might be fine as well. This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. It's down to us and our brother. Oh, my God. We actually survived it. Oh my god, we survived it. Now, as far as I recall... Well, silly's dead, by the way. <laughs> as far as I recall, when, you get, when, you, when you've caught the Grey Plague or Grey Scale, you are immune to it from then on. So we are now immune to both Grey Plague and Grey Scale by extent. Forever, I think. I hope. I pray. It's still in the capital, though, so our brother could still be whacked by it at any time. Um, wow, that's unreal that we've gone from... So our dynasty has just been completely cut in half again. Oh, my God. Well, here we are. Here we are. Get out of here. I know how to play the game. Here we are. The final. The final TE once again. I can't win. This campaign has, has got it in for us. Look at the family tree. Silly is dead. T what did he die of? He died of a disagreement after a meal. Oh, of course he did. Yeah, at the age of 24. Well, at least he missed the bloody Grey Plague and the rest of his family dying. My God, this poor guy. What? Tyrant? How long have we been a tyrant for? What did I do? Uh, I, I don't know. I bet I probably imprisoned someone or did some shit without the council or fired someone or some some garbage. Of course, we're, we're, we're a kid in a regency. Wow, that's um, that's actually insane. But we do have 654 gold because I imagine one of our courtiers died and they had a massive amount of cash. Something as well to point out. If we quickly go over to uh, your court and just take a look at people with gold. So we can see that our courtier there, this random person, has a ridiculous amount of cash. Once again, Carthine. Why? Where are these people coming from? Most of the point it gives us someone we can imprison, maybe banish, kill off. Uh, essentially, we're asking ourselves, would it be worth it to take five tyranny, or, or no fear in this case, because she's actually not a landed vassal, but would it be worth it to take um, ten tyranny for 460 gold? Honestly, I could, I, could, I could see it. Now, more importantly, we could go to a lot of other people's court, invite, or just invite a bunch of people to court, then there's a button. That will appear if, if we're over our court size that's like, you know, expel people from court or, or send courtiers away. Which point you gain any money they've got. Which seems a little bit broken, but it is a very, very powerful way to get a lot of money very quickly. You just have to track the people down, which can be a bit of a pain in the ass, obviously. Weird. We've got enough money to go on at all, though, when we turn of age. If we ever turn of age. At long last. Holy shit. Thank you, Zhao. And this is actually kind of perfect timing as well. Because as you can see here, the Ram just went into a massive civil war. I'm not entirely sure what the civil war for. I obviously just decided to stay independent. I haven't really got a horse in the race. Um, she alright? Great plague. Um, I mean, I know it well. Thank you. Uh, Zin slave raid on Manpos? Wait, whoa. Uh, oh, but he is also attacking the Yellow Emperor, Chaiko the Jade Sword, in the Second War of Tyranny. Right. 
So my liege, or, or what was my liege before I declared neutrality here, so he still will be, depending on how the war comes out. But he has declared a war against the tyranny of the Emperor. Fair enough. This guy's a lunatic, though, so chances are the Emperor was doing something probably quite just. That puts us in a good position, because now we can push for these two claims that we've got on Fujin. We can take them, and more importantly, nobody can stop us. The Emperor can't tell us to stand down. Our liege can't tell us to stand down. This guy can't request intervention or anything like that at all. The question is, do we have enough troops to stop him? 3,000 versus 4,400. Ooh, okay. Okay, this could be interesting. Um, so overall, he has basically the same amount of troops as obviously he's split over two different realms there. Um, why not? I'm trying to, I'm, I'm struggling to think of the downside here. You know, worst case scenario, okay, our first wave of troops gets killed somehow by him having just incredible commanders, which point we hire some mercenaries, or we just open it up by hiring mercenaries, because mercenaries in Game of Thrones are always a flat cost. Um... South Sword and... Yeah, Wendell of Carth. Yeah, good one. Right. Hire, hire these guys. Hire everyone else. Or not... Don't hire everyone else. But you know, you know what I'm getting at. Declare war. Press all claims. We can do that. No one can stop us. We've got Valor Castus Belli. Perfect. Enemies using the Great Trade League to maim our economy. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We've got all the money in our pockets. As we've said there, the peasants don't need the gold. We've got it all. Let's do it. 5,900 men. Basically at full morale. Oh my god, we've got no commanders. Probably the plague killed them all off, huh? Um... Right, commanders, commanders, commanders are both shit. We've got the money for it, so it's not a big deal. Don't panic. Employ a new courtier. Let's go for a sell sword. You can only do that every few months, can't you, with the Game of Thrones mod? But they generally end up being slightly better from what I recall. Um, uh, employ a new courtier. Yeah, we can't do that again for another... My god, another six months. Well, that's a bit strict. Oh my god, we can buy slaves for our camps as well, because we've got just this money lying around. Actually, might be a good early play here, because not only does it bring in the tax, but it gives us some, uh, some troops... Let's see if anyone wants to join our court to lead our armies. Join me. Die for me. Samukan, the Shadow Man. Join me, my friend. Um, that's it. Honestly, he's the only guy really worth inviting because the rest are kind of garbage. I mean, this guy could also work. we got a flanker there. Now, nah, we'll, we'll stick with just this guy. He's, he's fine. Right, join me. Oh, God, there's a river crossing there. Um, there looks like there's be this river crossing bloody everywhere. What about a crossing between there and... So, we could go for, through... A whole lot. I don't know if, if that's how you would say that, but I think that's probably the way we're going to go just to quickly avoid some of this. Okay, so let's get do. Let's get Yasup, and then let's get that new guy on his commanding position. Welcome. Actually, let's get him on the center. He's very good. Right, okay. That's fine. I mean, 16, 14, 14, probably better than anything this guy can throw as He's leading trips himself with his three marshal. Incredible stuff. Very nice to see. Uh, so let's see if we we might even be able to bait them out here. Hang on, they are movement locked. So what if we what if we were to just turn around immediately? Um, we would get there on the 29th. They get there on the 31st. We've got them. Wait, we've already got them. 28th, 30th. Oh, fourth moon, fourth moon, fourth moon. That was third moon. Okay, can we beat him back to his capital? 12th and the fifth. Okay, there's another army under him, which is confusing things. Let's move back up this direction, then. We'll avoid any river crossings. Oh, God. Your dear pet has finally left you. You buried them in the garden. You finally remember your time together. Life is hard. This guy's had his whole family die. His pet bird die. He's been named a tyrant. This is this is just bad. And, of course, almost died himself from the grayscale. Wow. This, what to talk about? Bloody trial by fire, huh? Right, so we'll head up here next, and then we'll just head down. I mean, I'm, go I'm going to have to take a river crossing either way, aren't I? I feel like we don't really have a choice here, all things considered, because we're just going to have to keep chasing him around our province. Should have head south in hindsight. That would have made a lot more sense, because that way they'd have moved down, and then we could probably just move back up and court them. All right, let's try this way. Nope, this way. There we go. I think we've got him this time. All right. Uh, better commanders. Where, where's our other guy? Yusuf, join me again, my friend. Oh, he's terrible. I suppose he might actually not be. I was going to say he's better than nobody, but I'm not entirely sure that's true. Should be able to catch him here, right? My God, they must have an organizer or something. This is very annoying. Just give chase. I mean, what else can we do here besides just keep chasing them down? There we go. We've actually caught them, and we've got them on planes. No river crossing here. That actually worked out super, super well. This is a setback. One of our commanders is instantly dead. We've got the superior numbers. We've got them. We've got them. So then, guardians, guardians, guardians. Um, They're all shit. I'm not going to bet anyone quick, genius. I mean, there is a quick character, but she's got ruthless, shy, craven. Wouldn't really be for the best. Um, our current educator is our court physician. He's got 20 learning. I don't know if that, if, if the guardian's are learning stat, because as we found out that your learning stat affects your education outcome. Don't know if that's true of the guardian, though. So I'm going to try and find a good educator. If we look for someone, preferably patient, diligent, genius, and all three. Join court, if you don't mind. That would be kind of helpful. I mean, I would prefer you to do that if you're going to educate us. 
Koi is okay. Um, diligent and patient there, looking quite good. Rezaz, uh, also pretty good. Let's sort by... Oh, that was sorted by Marshall. Fuck, okay. Um, this person, also pretty good. Actually, QN is very good. Just, erudite, humble, patient, brawny. Let's bring him on board. I think he's a, he seems like a sound educator. There's no one quick, as far as I can see here. No one... Yeah, no one quick or genius. Bring him along. He, said he seems more than good enough. Welcome, my friend. I'm going to give you... Well done, Rital of Court's Tutor. There you go. And let's also assign him as the Guardian of Us. So let's quickly go. Da -da. Oh, we need to make our house words. Assuming we live past today, then maybe I'll think about it. If you guys got any suggestions for house words, feel free to throw them at me. The house words can be, uh, please, for the love of God, I've had enough stop. For Christ's sake, I can't take any more characters dying. I mean, it hasn't really got a very good ring to it. Brooding or one intrigue. Um, I mean, brooding can become just... Roth selfish? I honestly don't remember. Um or one intrigue. I mean the one intrigue is is kinda tempting. Well, this is hard, because brooding I I believe actively works against the martial education. I feel like a character is very martial oriented right now. Oh god, I don't know. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. I mean it's not guaranteed, right? Man, I need to I need to check a character who can be educated to see what what are the best outcomes for it. Uh let me see if I can find someone in our court. Young child in court. There's no one. We're the only child in the whole of our capital. Okay, very annoying. Let me just quickly find someone who's being educated then and just, just confirm whether or not that is possible. Uh, resell, sorry. For fuck's sake. It's happened again. It's actually happened again. All right, well, I'm going to remove Karth from the game. I'm going to remove I'm going to remove Karth. It's only Karth, and it's always Karth. I'm, I'm going to remove them. They've, they've annoyed me. We're going to all of Karth. Okay, what should we replace Karth with? We're just going to replace Karth with, um, uh, Children of the Forest. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. I can actually never my other mod then that I was working on. So I'm looking for any character that's being... Oh, can we just check from here? So, Timid Idolizer. Okay, that's no use. We're looking for a character that's being educated in Marshall, preferably. It's going to take a long time for me to find this out. Mr. Strim, why not look it up on the wiki? Please. It's, my PC is already about to burst into flames, having to process about 40,000 different Karthian people. Right, so it's Rowdy and Willful. Timid Idolizer is a hindered by it, so Brooding is fine. No Timid, no Idolizer. Let's take Brooding, then. He's actually done it. He's fixed all of the world's issues. I I'm, I'm don't even want to begin to explain the mental leaps I went through to fix what we fixed, but look at it. Look at it go. It is so fast now. We can get an actual... Fucking campaign going in Game of Thrones, and I'm so goddamn happy. Okay, you are gone, my friend, because not only does the game now not run like a complete piece of shit, but we have ourselves one, two, three provinces, and my friends, with that, we can become the Duke of our dreams, of Van's dreams, of Fi's dreams, of our many dead relatives' dreams. We've done it. We've ascended to the lofty heights of Duke. I mean, it's a little boring. Grant has taken 23 years and four characters to get up to the stage of Duke, but you know what? Small steps. Small steps. And this is the snowball effect right now. This is where things are going to get... What? Oh my god. The Emperor... The Emperor granted the Five Forts as a title? As a military order? Which is basically like, um... It's basically like a vice royalty to some extent. Um, it says their counts as feudal for taxation and other purposes. So, they petition their liege to nominate one of their relatives as successor to command. Oh, very cool. So it's kind of like vice royalty, but like, hey, hey, please let me carry on ruling this place. And they're provided, you know, they provide troops and whatever else. Right, okay. Um, if we want to become king, there's a very clear route to do that. And that's through the five forts. Or, alternatively, we swing round. And as we have one, two, three, three of the five provinces of the kingdom of Jin, we are in most of the control. So I would say we could start fabricating claims on the capital. Go for that instead. Or we go for the five forts. Um... To be honest, I think Jin would be the safer play because, of course, the Five Forts is that military command, so I'm not sure exactly what would happen if we were to inherit that. Plus, the Five Forts have some weird modifiers, you know, like the, like the Five Forts, giving them 3,000 extra archers, but no other decent troops there. Um, archers and heavy cavalry being most of it. It's where it's not bad, and we could upgrade it. Wow, I don't know. I don't really know where to start. The Ruin Faith considers the Golden Fort a holy site, and the Pagan Faith considers the Golden Fort a holy site. Great to hear. Um... Right, so let's get you on board. Let's get you... I'm going to go for the five forts. It sounds cool. It just sounds cool to have five forts. I don't really know what you expected there. So, Mr. Streamer, how did you fix it? How did you make the game not run like a complete piece of shit? Well, thank you for asking. Um, first things first. This is, is going to get very confusing. Bear with me on this one. First things first, they are back. Oh, my God, they're Stormlander. Oh, this is weird. This is weird. 
Oh my god, what, what? Okay, this is not what I was expecting to happen. I'll be completely honest with you. So, what I did was very straightforward. I converted all of the provinces in Karth to children of the forest culture, which means that no more Karthian characters can spawn in. And if any children of the forest characters spawn in, I edited the children of the forest trait to give, because there's a, there's a modifier event, basically, that if you're a children of the forest, you get a trait that says children of the forest that gives you, like, a load of health and no fertility. I flipped it, so it gives you no health and still no fertility, so that all of those Carthian people who were converted over to uh, children of the forest will get the negative health and they'll all die off. And my god, you cannot argue that it has not worked exactly perfectly, because none of us were able to track down where the bug's coming from, so I thought, rather than try and fix it at the source, we'll just put a bandage over the whole thing, by which I mean literally commit genocide. And genocide has quite clearly solved our problems here. Why am I never monetized, I wonder. And now we've got High Warlock Durham the Stormlander of Karth, the monastic warlock. Okay, um, that's a weird outcome, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, look, they're all like weird cultures now. Very strange. Okay, we'll keep a close eye on that, but it has absolutely solved the problem. I couldn't be happier. So now we can really, really make a go of this. All right, great start. Let's become a king next. I will like, maybe, maybe finish our education one, once in our goddamn life, huh? Now... Two things. Firstly, A, uh, well, 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 we can accept that. We can take the kingdom. Why can we take the kingdom? Because we have 51%. Yeah, but he still controls land within it. Fuck it. Oh, my God. He's a foreign realm. This is big. We, because we made a title whilst we were under independence, we are now fully independent. We established ourselves as a duke outside of the realm of... Yt while they were in civil war, so that title was not part of Yt, and now when the rounds come back together, we are now fully independent. This could be a problem. I'll be honest with you, this could be a problem. I might even go as far to swear fealty back to them because it means there's absolutely no port of expansion. It means that if the Drogos not even get a whiff of us being around here, they are just going to swing for us and kill us all dead. I'm thinking, uh, let's let's go to our good friend the the king here and let's swear fealty instead. That should solve some of our issues. Hey, it's time to choose an education. Obviously, we're going to go for the learning plus four outcome from that one. Uh, we're not a terrible character, to be honest. We're, we're really not too bad at all. We've got an okay martial education. Everything else obviously going to come out shitty. So we'll go for the martial education, unsurprisingly. Wow, okay. Um, this has ended up being quite strange. So we can now go to war with this guy because we have du jour claims on him. Very cool. Council say no because the council are a bunch of bitches. But of course, we'll deal with that when we turn of age. This is massive. Accidentally a really good play there. Holy shit, he made him swear fealty to me. Oh, the ultimate dick move. Get independence, usurp his title while we're independent, swear fealty, and then this guy... We just flipped. We just did a full-on vassal flip. Wow, that's incredible. Um, I mean, I don't really like him being there because, of course, he does... We could just fabricate claims on his titles anyway and just revoke them, which actually might be the safest play. Oh, God, I'm Minister of the Treasury. Shit. Sw swap him out. Swap him out. Collect some taxes, my man. Mainly because his capital, the capital of Jin there, is obviously much, much better than any province we've picked up right now. So even just going for that one would be quite nice. We have... Oh, there's a trade route there. Man, there's definitely means to get that one. Okay, fine. Um, Minister of Justice, I would like you to instead start fabricating claims of this. That way we can just straight revoke it and no one can argue with us. Ooh, I know my worth and people better not stand in my way. Lose, haughty, gain, cruel. Could be worse. We've also gained a golden staff. Oh my god, because it was the guy we deposed staff. So now we've got it. That's absolutely hilarious. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to absolutely wield that whenever I go and visit him. Which won't be for very long because he's about to lose all of his titles as well. Um, we can only revoke the duchy because that's his last title. Okay, that does make a lot of sense. So we would have to wait until we fabricate a claim on the duchy as well. Bonded with these people over the years. Uh, no one, which I think is very appropriate for the cruel emperor. The cruel slave-owning emperor. We lost Willful and also gained Authority, which I think is uh, maybe the second best outcome of that. Obviously, Ambitious would be pretty good. Oh, I think Brave would have been better as well. Martial Land Diplomacy is obviously good if we're ruling quite a sizable kingdom. The little Diplomacy bonus is kind of, uh, kind of helpful there. Still coming out a great character. 10, 12, 10, 10, 14 in our stats there is obviously... I mean, incredibly good. Still only 20 personal combat, though, despite the fact that we still can't join a society, I would assume. Nope. Um... Yeah, that's very strange that we still haven't gained any personal combat over that since, like, genuinely since the age of baby, we are the same strength. That must be a hell of a strong child. Okay, fair enough then. Um, is there anything we can do right now? So we've got to wait another year before we can get married. So really, I should start looking for potential candidates of that. So let's go for, was that Carthian man I saw then? What? These must be the last of the, um, these guys must be just the last of the, uh, the, uh, refugees or something like that. The people outside of Karth that didn't get caught in the, the conversion crossfire there. There are a 
couple. That's concerning. Okay, let's quickly make... Are they... Is it getting out of hand again? There's a lot of fucking rivermen all of a sudden. Um, sort by... Sort by culture. Right, so we got Reachman. Um, Karth, 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 Karthine. No, there's really not that many. They are still... Yeah, so these are the last, I believe, of the nobles that have spawned in previously. We'll just keep a close eye on that. But I think these are just the last of the, uh, like I said, last of the refugees. There's obviously not that many either. It was definitely something to do with merchant republics in... Merchant Republic people on, uh, like, out in traveling or on pilgrimage or something like that just caused a ridiculous amount of people to spawn in there. But, yeah, Spy Support and the 13 were both of the Merchant Republics. That seems to have dealt with the problem in the meantime. Okay, that's fine. And obviously the game's running fine, so I don't really mind too much whether there are crafting people or not. We can get married. Hooray! Right, now stop being distracted by the game. Oh, let's find ourselves a lovely prodigy wife, ideally. Uh, join court, yes. Nothing. Okay, right. <laughs> Round two. Women, unmarried, yes. Okay, within range. Oh my god, she's strong and prodigy, but she is Brindleman, which means we can't marry her and have Babby because it would not be formed. What about you? Range marriage, her to us. No. This king, this yeetish king has offered you a mare... His daughter's hand in marriage, and he said no. Uh, this insult will not be forgotten. What about her? Oh, she's Ebony, so same story as the Brindleman. They can't breed with uh, with, with other ethnicities. Okay, um, we can't even invite her to court because, of course, she is. What if we send a gift to her father? Maybe just as a, as a sign of a, a, a show of... Shit, okay. Um, yeah, he's just a dick. He's just a dick. Okay, fine. Her? She could work. She's 29, though, so it's a bit risky. She is, uh, she's a pirate, which is the whole reason I'm not going for her. Um, she's 29 or a pirate. And I've got, oh, if we convert her away, though, it's general opinion minus 30. That's all I'm concerned about. But if we convert her religion, can we even demand conversion? We could try it. Um, oh, but she won't like us because she's a pirate. Right, so let's send her a gift, and then we'll buy a favor. And then we should be able to, it's impossible because she's a chancellor. Blah! Send her a gift, buy a favor, also a chancellor. God, God have mercy. God have mercy on this game. Okay, right. Genius. Genius. Maybe maybe they'll just get fired at some stage. It's fine. Wait, I think that one actually was fired then. No, she's fine. Okay. Um, genius. Uh, so let's go for... This character called Kim. She's genius and hair lip, which is not particularly ideal. But her. No, she's a random woman. She's a random woman. Yes, yeah, good, good. Possible. Why? Why is it impossible? Relative. Oh, because her, uh, her uncle is a, a lord or some garbage. Okay, fine a pain in the ass and she's not even that fantastic but she is strong so I'll t and she's got some pretty decent stats too so why the hell not her arrange marriage her to prince of oh my god we'll lose 400 prestige well never mind it's not like we spent <laughs> a long time going to war building all of that shit yellow emperor chico's royal progress to the realm is over so we just did a bit of a, a realmly tour and nothing happened of any note okay let's host a wedding feast then and try and get a babby out of it at least i mean if we are a martial character no harm in trying for a son. We, we've got genius. She's got strong. Mind up with a genius strong son. That'd be kind of nice. Um, oh, of course, we're a king now, so we have to do have a bit more pomp and circumstance. Okay, fine. 25 gold on that one. Invite everyone to the court. This guy said no, because he's a bitch. I mean, we did steal his entire kingdom, so that's reasonable, really. Marriage, please. Don't really care. Um, firebenders, whatever. Welcome to court. Prince Zuko, join us. Join us. At, it's a glorious ceremony. Welcome to the wedding. Please, just need a babby. And what if we go for have a son? I wonder if that will influence it at all. I very much doubt it, but we might as well give it a go. Craven? Craven? Ah, lose Craven. Yes, nice work. Okay, who do we want to dedicate ourselves to? I think we'll go for the Maiden Maiden Fair, Maid of Light. Uh, she has 5% fertility, and our dynasty is almost extremely dead. Roth. Not really what I was after there, but okay, fine. I guess we're going to be quite a good martial character there. Vassal Opinion, plus 5. Chance of Babby. This is fine. Somebody wants to buy Quen. 15 gold for Quen. Actually, he's got powerful. 40 gold. Yes. Good deal, my friend. I probably could have, should have, should have sold him for even more than that because he was obviously an insanely good character. Um, we have no priest. I need a courtier. Uh, a priest, preferably. Duck. Welcome, my man. Uh, let's put him on the council then. There we go. Problem solved. Minor titles. We've also got treasury guard. Uh, besides that, though, I think the realm is in incredibly good hands. We're a king. We are married to an okay wife. Um, piss off. We're going to try and gain a claim on this duchy as well so we can unify the realm, get ourselves a better capital. Then it's all up from here. The only the only way to go up from here is Emperor of ET. So I think we've got to work out for a, a little bit there. But can we can we join a... We're, we're, suddenly, we're suddenly a fully grown 30-year-old man. Um, can we join any societies or anything like that? Nothing yet. 
Let's give another, let's give another year. Just wait for him to be educated. Then we'll see if we can get a foot in the door with some, uh, with some future proofing. Oh dear. My man's been killed. <laughs> Shit. All right. Um, Princess of Jin, help me out here. Let's have you just not do anything too risky yet. Look at this guardian I found. I realized just right here at the very last minute that, well, I mean, we got two months that we didn't have a good guardian. So I found this guy here, Garth Craighall. He is, I mean, just a random Westerman. I mean, the house Craighall, apparently highborn. Unlanded, unrelated to any ruler. I was able to buy a favor, line his pockets with gold, get him to court. Quick, formidable fighter, strong, giant. Look at this character. He's insanely good. Is he like a... Is he a legitimate... I, I honestly don't know. Apparently has no wiki link, so I guess he is just a randomly generated character there. Um, Lyle Strongbore. Uh, he's a descendant of Lord Roland the Rude. But he's insanely good. Diligent and patient and quick. So now, hopefully, this guy's going to teach us to not be too shitty. And in theory, he's also apparently taken us on as his squire. So, ah! And we've learned how to fight a little bit too. Very, very nice. I completely didn't take that into account. That, of course, you have to manually train them with a guy who's good at personal. Obviously, we'll, we'll do that as well. Just in the hopes that maybe in the very last few seconds here, he can uh, train us a little bit more. But here we go. Did we come out any good? Nice. Skill commander. I'll take it. It's not, it's not bad. And we got trained fighter. Not bad, considering I did essentially forget his education for a long time. 20 marshal. Hey. I think we'll draw that one as a win. 10, 20, 10, 10, 11 in our stats is obviously incredibly good there. Um, we'll go for family focus because I feel like it's super, super important to start with. Otherwise, we are just going to get game over. No, it doesn't suit the character a huge amount. I think seduction actually suits him more than family focus. So we'll go for that instead. Kind of going to, it's going to tick the same boxes and all that. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, that was a pretty big victory for us there. It's pretty, the, the game runs fine. We're a king. We, we went from Count to Duke to King in a very small period of time. We've got, I mean, still no family members, so we are literally on the cusp of a game over here, but a good character, and that's all that's important. Good character, good wife. We actually might be getting someone with this series, and all it took was how, however long. 36 years. My God. Thank you for watching. Let's give a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons that made the series possible in the first place. A big thank you to Aiden W, Alchemia, Anthony Gawley, Asuna Curaso, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Baking Kit and Croesus, Donald, Facundo Vasquez, Ghost of Protocol, Gogolus, Harik, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Kane and Carter, Michael Mullen, Muskratful, Napuskus 911, Necrofin and Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Richard Clark, Scott, Skaz, Somnus, The Forsaken One, TY Cruz, Tom Terror 18, Tyler, Kendall, Vacuus, Vacus, William Green, and Zazzy7011. Thank you for your support, the insane tier lovers on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible in the first place. Much appreciated. Appreciated. Big shout out to these guys, without which uh, YouTube would uh, ban. What what are the weird words have they not allowed in the titles recently? Um, there was like you can say war, but you can't say kill, and uh, just it's just complete garbage. It's just complete random garbage, which is kind of also relevant for CK2, which is kind of a shame. But anyway, thank you as well to Uwu, Asro, Adam Person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anchor, Attila, Austin Taylor, Bull Doom, Ben Trope, Betamus Max, Better Valerian, Black Double H, Sidini. Chris, Corey C.A., David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connie 7, Emerald Beam, Exploded Knees, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gray, Haji Damar, Icarus, Icy the Great, Ida C., Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, James Shea, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yoran DeVries, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Luana Thomas, Luke Wallace, Mastolp, Monty, Mostly Samson, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nostrus, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Samu, Panthapel, Payback 1 through 7, Peyton Denisal, Russian Olgard, Billionaire, Ryan Hooper, Sagatair, Sam Kears, Shari, Smirtworm, Smooth Octopus, Socrates, Super Nanny 089, The Insane Pickle, The One Ring, Valonkiri, Varagon, Voodoo Mumbo, Will Wade, Wilson and Tef, Wolfie, Yorkus, Zach, and Zico 2. Shout out to everyone else on Patreon as well. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Big thank you for to the Twitch subs, and a big thank you to CK2 for being somewhat cooperative today, although I was worried we were going to get game over earlier, but hey, you know what? Nothing can kill me T ye of ye T, the mighty best man. I was trying to think of some of the rhymes, but obviously that obviously that didn't.